Hey guys, Travis here again with Lucky Tackle Box. Man-made structure like marinas can be absolute havens for bass. So today, we're gonna use Yozuri's lipless crankbait, the 3DB Vibe, to really break down the different elements of marinas. I really like a lipless for this application because of how many different retrieves you can use with this lure and how quickly you can cover water. So let's break down this technique into rigging retrieval location, starting with rigging. Okay, first, it's got the internal 3D prism finish, which gives it that real lifelike look. Then it's got the wave motion technology, an internal chamber with BBs for that sound, and then this bait is perfectly weighted, so it actually swims on the fall, which we will talk more about in retrieval. Now I start with spooling up with Seaguar's 10 to 12 pound mono or fluorocarbon, or for stained and muddy water, I'll go to like a 20 pound braided line. Uh, the reason I like braided line is because there's a lot of stuff to uh, hang up on these marinas, and uh, having a heavier line like this braided line can actually bend out these hooks if you're snagged, you've got a real good snag, and so you actually won't lose your lures, you're just gonna bend those hooks free and um, just gotta change those out. I spool that up on Daiwa's Tatula 6.3 to 1 gear ratio, which is a medium speed gear ratio and allows me to fish the different speeds and retrieves necessary for this lure. Lastly, I pair that up on Castaway 7 foot medium action cranking rod. Uh, this rod really allows me to feel out that bait during the retrieve and then also has that parabolic bend which I need for fighting these fish. So I've got three retrieves I can usually use to fish the majority of the situations in marinas. The first one is hopping the bait. For this technique, you make a nice long cast, let that bait sink all the way to the bottom, and then you give it little hops. What I'm doing is I hop this bait, it's jumping about two to three, off the, two to three feet off the bottom, and then I let it fall on slack line. Now this bait is perfectly weighted, so as it falls, it does this great little shimmy on down to the bottom, and uh, can be great at looking like wounded bait fish and triggering some strikes. The next technique is the sweep retrieve. What I do is I cast this bait out, let it sink a couple seconds, and then I sweep, and then retrieve the extra slack. Sweep it, then I slowly reel. What this is doing is I'm pulling that bait, it's making a nice loud rattle, it's got that shimmy, and it's attracting these fish. Then when I uh, let it sink on the slack line as I'm reeling in the slack, um, that gives those fish the, the opportunity to strike. There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh. Just came right out from that shade, right into that dock. Ooh, he's gonna try to spit this thing. Oh, nice, nice, big old smolly. This fish, this fish came popping out of there. Threw it right up to a corner, swept the rod, let it drop. When we sweep it again, he was already on it. He came darting out from that shade, ready to hit this thing. <clears throat> My third technique is cast and burn, baby. What I do for this one is all I do is cast out and just get a nice quick reel. What this is doing is this is really moving that bait quickly. It's making a lot of rattling noise and it's making these fish react. They do not have time to decide if this is a real bait or not. They have to just make a split second decision and bass being predators and being very aggressive, they're usually gonna err on the side of just hammering this bait. I really like this technique on little inside corners and um, little uh, specific points that I can really run this bait by quickly that I really believe there's a fish right there and I wanna make him make a split second decision. Also, later in the day when these bass move up under these shadows, this is a great technique to make a lot of noise and really pull these fish out from underneath those shadows and out from under these docks to hit this lure. All right, so I usually have five different areas that I focus in on a marina. First, starting with the mouth of the marina, whether it's the big points leading into it or any kind of man-made seawall, whether it's floating logs, tires, or even a uh, uh, cement seawall. And I'll use all three different retrieves. I'll just rotate through them until I figure out what the fish want. Um, the next thing, once I move into the marina, I'll fish the lanes or the guts of these different marinas. A lot of times these boats coming in and out, that'll be the deepest part of that, uh, the channels. Also, it'll, it'll create channels in the weed lines because all that props uh, cutting it up and stuff. So what'll happen is uh, early in the morning and then later in the evening, these fish will travel those lanes looking to feed and could be easy targets. Third, um, as the sun comes up, it creates shade and the, the marinas really heat up and these fish look for the shade. So I like fishing the shade lines. So anytime I can get an angle where I can make a long cast and bring it all the way through the shade, I'll do, I'll really just burn this bait. I'll just cast and reels, uh, a real quick retrieve. And what can happen is uh, all the noise this bait's making can really trigger these fish out of their lull, that afternoon lull, and, and just trigger, uh, make them react into feeding. 
Now the fourth thing uh, is goes along with that shade as well. I like any kind of inside corners. So anytime there's a little corner of a dock kind of up against the shore and I can get that angle, um, fish will sit right on that little shade, right in that corner. And a lot of times if they're positioned right there, it's because they're looking to feed and they can be an easy fish to catch. Now my last thing that I always do in a marina is I always make a few casts in the very back. You'd be surprised how many fish hang out back there. So what I'll do is my favorite retrieve back there is the yo-yo. I'll go back there, make a couple yo-yo casts so I can really fish it effectively, and then I'll move on to the next marina. Marinas can be an excellent way to locate bass. And having the right lure like Yozuri's lipless crankbait, the 3DB Vibe, is an excellent lure because of the several retrieves and locations that you can throw it in to actually catch those bass. Once again, guys, I'm Travis with Lucky Tackle Box. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you comment in the section below. Also, if you want any links to the uh, tackle or gears we're using, check the description box below. Oh, there we go. Oh, I would catch the one. <laughs> All right, well, you guys know, don't be afraid. Oh, it came off, it came off. Dude, 